The average performer will never get the chance to star in a Broadway show. These are the stories of a college music theater program, its teachers, and their students, who are anything but average, and whose chances just got a whole lot better. Tonight was the final rehearsal before they move into the pit, and we have a run through tomorrow night. So I figured the timing of this was do all the work I can do, let them hear this, and then take the next step towards opening. The cast the first time here in the orchestra, and they were. Uh... It was worth it for me to see the joy and the excitement because I think it all seems possible for them now. I think it feels like they can do this, which is. We just saw the first interaction between the Titanic Orchestra and the Titanic cast, um, putting together all the big group numbers, including like the 20 minute opening sequence, basically all the big ensemble numbers, so that we could give this cast um, the idea of what the soundscape of the show is going to be like. It's so earnest and open-hearted, and it's a romance. And until you hear the space in the music that is left for you to fill, it's like there's no way you can begin to appreciate the size of what you have to do. And I'm trying to get them to understand and embrace the size of the piece, not loud, but just the size of, the, of their imagination, the size of what they have to project. And I think this says it more than, you know, I can ever say it. This orchestra has been fantastic. Um, they're, they're reading very well, they're fantastic musicians, and you know, I'm just kind of guiding them through it and letting them do their work, and they're fantastic. Uh, the cast was extraordinarily receptive to it. Everything is under control. And I trust you'll have us underway as soon as possible. Mr. Andrews is making a complete inspection, Mr. Ismail, but just be patient. You'll have his report the moment it's available. In the meantime, Captain, I see no need to alarm the passengers. Well, it's kind of a funny experience because this is really full circle for me. Titanic was my first Broadway show that I saw as a child when I was, I think, seven or eight. And now to be a 21-year-old conducting this 25-piece orchestra with this amazing cast, uh, it's just... It's a remarkable experience every time I step up on that podium. It's just, I kind of have to pinch myself every time. There's, there's always a moment in every song, and right in the middle of it, I kind of just have this out-of-body experience, and I'm like, God, am I really doing this?
it's pretty fantastic. Your first time in the space, first time trying out the costumes you've created. So we know. So let's see what we have here, putting it all together. 